Hello, my name is Kyle, and this is the fastest way to farm legendary weapons and items in Borderlands 3. Discovered this accidentally, and when it occurred the second time, I put together how. The answer is the Sticky Quasar, which is a grenade mod, and the setup for this method hinges on this particular grenade. It's going to be necessary to reposition the Hoarder Tank and proc his stationary state, which will allow you to continuously farm his backpack by shooting at it. The ideal way to execute this glitch is to spawn into Jacob's estate, travel to where you see me heading while I'm speaking to you right now, and while there is nothing above the Hoarder Tank after it spawns, there is a mandatory spawn here, there, make sure there's no trees, make sure there's no tree roots or rocks above him. Throw the nades at him and hope that he goes flying straight up. You're hoping for him to go straight up and hopefully come straight down. You can use the damage numbers to track his descent. And what you're hoping for is that when he lands, he doesn't move. At which point you can clear the area of all the other ads and then farm until... These mofos respawn. What makes this method tricky is entirely the setup. It's possible that you definitely won't be able to make it happen. More times than not, you'll probably throw these nades and watch him fly straight off a cliff to his death. Sometimes you'll probably just lose sight of him entirely. I've seen the dude slingshot and catapult or trebuchet depending on your poison, but he's, he's all over the place. Um, if you found this video, though, I'm guessing that you're probably willing to devote a little bit of time to uh, harvesting the easier or quickest and fastest ways to get yourself a lot of legendaries. And as you can see, if you make this happen, it will be rewarding. So in the hopes of you watching him blast off Team Rocket style and then landing paralyzed, um, good luck. You know, before I'm asked, I made this happen accidentally, like I said, so it's not like I've been sitting on this or trying to keep it to myself. I I honestly wouldn't have anybody to share it to or with. And when it did happen, as I said, it was, you know, like it didn't seem like something I did. It was definitely something that just occurred via the game. But, you know, eventually I put together that it was the nade hurling him into a place where I guess his AI just couldn't process, and instead of instead of having him despawn, he would just stay there. Good for me, and hopefully good for you. Um, what I hope for in sharing this, and I hope that you share it with as many Borderlands 3 players as you know, hopefully it'll fly Glitching Queen's way, or maybe Game Snap, or whoever other, you know, people. I don't watch a lot of the uh, Glitching community or Borderlands community, but, um, you know, shout me out on your damn channel, send some people back here to subscribe to me, but at the same time, I'm sharing this in the hopes that somebody will find an easier way to provoke this glitch, because this way that I'm proposing right now, it's really hit or miss, and by hit or miss, I mean miss or miss, at the, you know, as far as the, as the chances are concerned, you have better luck getting a drop that you want than being able to provoke this state if I'm being completely honest, but it is possible and uh, Maybe you saw the video that I posted to the Borderlands 3 subreddit if you follow that where I got it to Occur recently and boy that was just a night like he spawned Relatively far enough away for when the enemies respawned it didn't really affect him so he didn't despawn or snap out of it and start running which is a thing that can occur tips for you if you provoke this state remember only to deplete his shields while shooting at the backpack and you know then letting the shields recharge be mindful of the enemies respawning eventually and if you don't properly and swiftly deal with it they can snap the tank out of it if not make him vanish entirely um, if it matters, I was doing this offline every time it occurred. Um, I'm, I'm honestly not trying to, I don't know, exploit the game, but playing offline for me, it, it just helps this game run a little better. And that may be a, a personal taste, but my God, it really chugs on the PS4 sometimes. And I got a grandpa PS4, not a PlayStation Pro. I'm not here to waste your time. I wish you the best. and. I wish you luck 
in getting this to occur. If you appreciated me not front-loading this video with phrases like what is up, or it's your boy, or back at it again, or, uh, or here at Blizzard, only Chinese money matters, you know, things like this. Like this video and subscribe. My name's Kyle again, and if I'm being honest, this channel is definitely not what you're into. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Ha 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 